Welcome back to AM Buffalo. Now, if you have a little one at home, you're probably familiar with Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. It's the number one animated series for preschoolers on PBS Kids and first spinoff of the groundbreaking Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. And time is flying because it is celebrating its 10th anniversary. We chatted with the creator and producer of this show to find out what's in store for Daniel and his friends this year. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Would you be my neighbor? Thank you so much to Angela Santamero and Chris Loggins from Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood for being on AM Buffalo this morning. This is truly a pleasure considering my children have grown up on this show. So thank you so much for being with us. Thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah, so Daniel Tiger celebrating 10 year anniversary. That must be huge for the both of you. Oh, it's huge. It's, it's amazing, and especially in this day and age to know that a character and a show Show has really touched the hearts of, of so many people the way that that we feel about it. Yes, it's wonderful. And it is wonderful. I think because of the legacy of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, it has a great big audience. My 13-year-old fondly remembers growing up to this show, so it's one of those situations where she said, "Oh my gosh, Mom, you're you're interviewing the creator of the show. It's pretty amazing." So you know, how does that feel being able to have your show reach so many audiences? It, it feels amazing, and I love to meet those kids that grew up on the show because I bet your 13-year-old can solve all of her problems. <laughs> <laughs> do it with a smile on her face as Daniel would. It is hard when grown-ups have to go, but we'll have lots of fun at school, and then your dad will come back and pick you up. It's like I always say, grown-ups come back. That's catchy, Dad Tiger. Grown-ups come back. So you'll come back? I will come back. Grr. Okay. I love that. I think that that makes such a difference, right? And, yes. and it's just our favorite thing to do. You're celebrating with a new season, which is kind of awesome. So tell us about that. Well, yes, the sixth season just premiered and uh, we kicked off back in the summer with a big movie event on PBS Kids where Daniel went to a new neighborhood and met a new friend, Juan Carlos. Wherever we are, whatever we do, I'm so glad to be with you. It turned out to be uh, one of the best performing specials on PBS Kids uh, in quite some time. So we were happy to hear that. Um, we also have the Top 10 Tiger Tales, which was a marathon of episodes uh, that were voted on by fans to be the top uh, 10 Dana Tiger's Neighborhood stories. Um, and that, that was also on PBS Kids. So there's a lot happening and uh, we're looking forward to uh, all the rest of the big new uh, experiences, social stories, emotional, uh, feelings that we're covering in season six so um but a lot to look forward to that is so true being able to reach kids on some topics that are pretty tough sometimes but you do it in such an artful way so tell us about going into a new school year being able to launch these new episodes but also celebrate such a big anniversary at this time when kids are heading back to school what does it mean to be able to give them this kind of programming we love the idea that we're arming kids with these little life lessons and these little strategies whether it's the firsts or whether it's something that they can use when they're there in order to solve their problems like way back from grown-ups come back so if you're just starting school that's really something that they hold on to to the new strategy that we're premiering it might change your mind if you give it some time so that's another one that we feel is really relevant today that kids really need that that hand holding especially after everything we've been through in the past couple yes. of years so that took a lot of um of our thought process as we were creating these new episodes well you know what we totally are grateful for that we're grateful for you, both Angela Santomero and of course Chris Loggins for being on AM Buffalo to share this with us. And from all of the fans out there, I have to say a big Ugamaga. Ugamaga. Thank you so much for being on AM Buffalo. <laughs> Ugamaga. That was so much fun. After the break, it's all about community. Stay with us. You're watching AM Buffalo.